Good morning everybody. It's Monday and today I thought I would attempt it <laughs> attempt at doing a weekly vlog for you guys because I think a few of you have, have missed them. Um Oh, it's a horrible day. It really is. It's it's just rainy and like the the sky is nearly black. <laughs> I was going to go out and see my best friend today but I don't really enjoy driving in the rain like especially heavy rain so I might go see her on Thursday instead of today um so yeah today I just want to get the house cleaned up I don't know if anyone else has this problem but Monday to Friday my house is like clean and spotless and then as soon as the weekend comes it just gets so messy and I'm blaming it on my husband. <laughs> I think because we're like in and out all day on the weekend so like dishes just pile up and yeah <laughs> Monday morning comes around and yeah I've just like I've got dishes to do and actually it's not too bad but yeah the bathroom is a disaster so I want to clean that but I haven't had any breakfast yet. I think I'm just going to make some porridge and then today I want to do a, uh, a meal prep video I'm going to make some lentil chili for like I was gonna say lentil chili con carne but Jay was saying con carne means meat <laughs> so lentil chili and I'm going to make a chicken and veggie soup as well so yeah, I'm going to do a meal prep video. Hopefully that goes smoothly. I've got a bit to do today, but firstly I'm going to have some nutrients in me and then I'll start sprucing up the place because I just, I can't really focus until the house is like semi-clean. <laughs> Look how massive this banana is. I think I'm just going to have like half of it. you twice already is it because it's cold <laughs> I'm not giving you any more look how, look how messy you are Mitzi Monty's cleaner than you you're supposed to be a princess and not make much mess I've just finished doing my meal prep for half of the week the only trouble is when you prep your food like you're left with dishes and stuff to clean up like my kitchen was so clean and now it's all messy again <laughs> but that's all right at least I'm all organized now for for a couple of days worth of meals I did film how I prepped all of this food so if you haven't watched it I will leave a link to that video down below in the information bar um, but for now I'm gonna quickly clean up let these cool down and then I'm going to have one of these for my lunch while it's still warm <laughs> this chicken soup is so good it's so filling as well I'm <laughs> I'm struggling to finish it <laughs> all off but it's just it's packed full of veggies like you've got your chickpeas carrots potato um, corn yeah it's just it's just a really like hearty satisfying winter's day soup um, that's yeah really filling I'm just about to go pick Jay up from work um, but I was sitting on the couch last night and my back was a little bit itchy and I didn't, didn't really think anything of it and I was like oh Jay can you just scratch my back um, so I scratched it and then like the itch went away and then this morning when I was having a shower I caught a glimpse of my back in the mirror whoa <laughs> and um there's like this huge red it looks like a bite i'm pretty i'm hoping it's a bite i'm hoping it's just a mosquito bite um but it's so sore i'll see if i can show you guys i don't really know if i'm doing it justice but there's like two red marks like a massive one and then one above it but yeah it's just really sore okay Gotta hurry and get Jay. <laughs> I've got to hurry and get Jay. 
got something in my eye. <laughs> Good morning, guys. I've just got home from from <laughs> uh, dropping Jay off at the train. So it's still pretty early. I'm just gonna have a bit of breakfast. I think I'm gonna make a mug muffin for breakfast today because they're like a little. It feels like a little indulgent treat when I <laughs> when I make that. <laughs> I've been really good taking my vitamin D tablets. I make sure that I put them like right in eye view so I don't forget to take them. I mean, I don't feel, I don't know if I feel any different, um, but I'm just hoping it's like helping to build my immune system up a little bit. <laughs> Okie dokie. I'm gonna quickly make my mug muffin and then have a shower and get ready for the day. Does this banana look right to you guys? <laughs> I only I only just bought it on like Sunday. But it's like completely black on one end. I think I'm just gonna have this one. Even this one looks a bit like it's bruised inside. Hmm. Yum. <laughs> These mug muffins, they're so good. Um, my back is still really, really sore. Actually, it's not sore. It's just, it's more itchy than sore now. As you can see, it's still like really red. Um, and I'm pretty sure I got, well, it was Sunday night when it started itching and feeling a little bit sore. So, and then Monday morning is when I looked in the mirror and, and like noticed how red it was. So it's been all of Monday, all of Tuesday. So it's been over two days. And it's still really red, so I don't know what bit me. <laughs> I don't think it was a mosquito. Like, usually when I get bitten by mosquitoes, they're tiny little, like, bites with a little bit of redness around. This is like a huge bite with, the, unless it was a huge mosquito. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think if it was like a poisonous spider or something, I'd be feeling pretty sick by now. So I'm just hoping the redness starts going down a little bit today. <laughs> Hi, you've got all water on your nose. Have you been drinking some water? Yes. Oh, okay then. <laughs> I'm just having my uh, chicken and veggie soup that I made on Monday for lunch today and I've just put a few crunchy noodles on top. Oop, steaming up. <laughs> the soup is two points and the noodles are just like one point so having a healthy three point lunch for today. happens to me I always end up running late when I have to go to, to the podiatrist because I take Jay to the train and then I like rush back have a shower put a bit of makeup on and then I'm like I have 10 minutes to get there so yeah I haven't even had breakfast <laughs> I'm just uh, taking an apple and um, a bottle of lemon water hang on let me double check I've got my keys does anyone else do this like have to triple check that they have everything Okay, I think I'm good. Oh. Like I said, I always seem to be running late for the podiatrist. Um, and because I'm the first appointment, she is like always on time or early, so I like to be a little bit early for her usually. Yeah, 
so I mean I'm not late late but um yeah I'll probably be just on time <laughs> oh, what? My foot looks like a patchwork, patchwork quilt, quilt. <laughs> it's like all bandaged up. <laughs> um, so yeah, my podiatrist said I just have to keep this bandage, like the stuff on my foot for, for at least like Thursday today. She said try and keep it until Monday, so. So yeah, it's just. Um, it's just a bit hard trying to shower and not get my foot wet because there's all, I don't know, some kind of type of acid under my foot. Anyways, I'm just popping home. I'm going to go see my best friend and she wants to borrow my blender. So I was just going to go straight from the podiatrist but um, yeah, I'm just going to pick up my blender and then head over there to see her. I haven't actually used this in forever. I actually miss making smoothies. Um, I didn't end up eating my apple, so I'm going to actually make a bit of breakfast before I go. I've been feeling like eggs lately, so I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna fry up fried cheese eggs. piece of toast as well. Oh, I'm so annoyed right now. So I went into the bedroom to brush my teeth. I leave the door open for like two minutes this little thing walks into the bedroom, decides to pee on the bed. No big deal. <sighs> so annoyed. <laughs> so I've just had to uh, put the sheets in the washing machine. I'm just going to chuck away the doona because it's too hard to wash and get dry, especially in winter. I love them, but they frustrate me sometimes. Why would she pee on the bed for? So annoying. I remember she went through a stage like years ago where she used to pee on the bed, but she hasn't done that for years, like two or three years. So yeah, I'm gonna have to go to Kmart and get a new doona bed cover thing. <clears throat> okay, I really have to go now. I told my friend I'd be there like 20 minutes ago. She's going to laugh when I tell her why I'm late, but it's just so annoying and I can't, like, the, she, she knows she shouldn't have done that, but she's just, you know you were naughty, don't you? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Your litter tray's clean. Look, you know you're bad because your ear's down. And I yelled at you as well. <laughs> Stop looking all cute and innocent. You've annoyed me, Mitzi. You've annoyed mummy, do you know? Yeah, well, no cuddles today. <laughs> Deep breath. I'm not gonna let it ruin my day. <laughs> Floor one. I think somebody had a big night. <laughs> my bestie and now come to the shop to get a doona cover <laughs> I'm just picking up some um some bananas because yeah I didn't really want to eat those black ones they looked a bit weird <laughs> Yeah, 
don't know why I'm standing in front of all the cookies and stuff. <laughs> They've got 50% off all like hair stuff in Priceline, <laughs> so I'm like stocking up on, on stuff. <laughs> now I just need to get a Duna cover. Coming to Target, I feel like Target might be a little bit better quality than Kmart. <laughs> this is what I need, <laughs> an electric blanket. You know what, I think this will be just fine. $29. Yeah, that'll be fine. Today is just getting better and better, isn't it? Damn. I don't know if I can drive with that. I guess I got here with it in. Oh. I don't even know what to do. I've never had a nail in the tire before. I go to like a tire place. Maybe I'll call Jay and ask him. Actually, I'll just call my dad. I don't want to annoy Jay. Nobody's answering. I just googled if I can drive with a thing in my tire. It said not to drive very far and to get it. Um, to go to like a mechanic place so I guess oh, maybe I should check with Jay I don't know, I don't know. why isn't nobody answering when I need someone okay I'm gonna drive to the tire place and see if they can help. Are they going to have a look at the tyre for me and see if they can fix it? So annoying. I think he said it'll be like an hour, so I'm just going to sit here and wait. Hopefully they can fix it. I'm home. <laughs> Luckily, um, the guy, he said that the... <laughs> He said the nail didn't really like penetrate into the wheel. He said, I'm very lucky though, because if it did, it was in a position where they would have had to like, they wouldn't have been able to repair the tire. They would have had, like I would have had to get a whole new tire. So yeah, he just pulled the, the, the nail out and he's like, oh, your, your tire's fine. Like there's no holes or anything. So that is like a big relief. <laughs> And he was so nice. Like I was, I said, I'm so sorry. I feel like I wasted your time. But he was like, no, don't be silly. And he didn't even charge me for anything. So that was really nice of him. Anyways, I'll quickly show you guys what I bought from um, Priceline. I bought a few hair products because they have 50% off like most of their hair stuff. So from Woolies, I just got some uh, bananas. I got some of these little like the chocolate rice cake things and then I got two of these chocolate bars they're the no sugar ones but they I scanned them with the Weight Watchers app and they're only three points so I thought that was pretty good and then from Priceline I got some heat protectant spray um, so yeah heat defense spray vitamin enriched and that was reduced from, well, it was only $3.99. <laughs> and then I got some of this hairspray by Schwarzkopf. Is that how you say it? <laughs> this was only $3.49. And then I thought I would try some of this uh, Frizzies. It's like a leave-in conditioner thing. And this was reduced to $8.49. Um, so, yeah pretty happy with my purchases I'm so glad I got hairspray finally though because I've whenever I curl my hair like the, the curls only last about I don't know they seem to last an hour and then they all drop out so hopefully now that I have this because the curls will last all day I am so hungry you guys I, it's nearly 3 p.m. and all I've had all day is the eggs on toast and an apple so 
luckily <laughs> i've still got a pot of soup left so thank god for food prep so i'm just going to warm this up and have this as a my lunch <laughs> I don't know why you're trying to be all cute. Don't scratch my carpet. Monty, stop it. You, don't you come near me. I'm supposed to be angry at you all day. Monty, stop scratching my carpet, please. Honestly, be nice, Mitzi, be nice. Ooh. Stop, Monty, stop scratching my carpet. If you want cats, don't do it. That's my advice. Yeah, you're stuck now, aren't you? Here's your ball. Here's your ball. You want your ball? Okay. <laughs> I'm just making myself a cup of tea. And having, <laughs> I've nearly ate it all. This is a coconut, coconut delight, no sugar added chocolate. Do you guys remember when I said this whole chocolate bar was three points? Well, that was a big joke. It's actually 10 points for the whole thing. <laughs> and I've literally ate it all. I should have, I knew, I know I should have double checked it. When I scanned it and it said three points, I thought that was too good to be true. So the three points was per serve and this chocolate has three servings per bar so yeah for the whole bar it's 10 points so i've just probably had like eight points worth of chocolate and to be honest i would have preferred to have like proper like cadbury's chocolate because this it's good but it's it's definitely not worth 10 points <laughs> so now i just feel a bit ripped off that i ate nine points worth of no sugar added chocolate. <laughs> Just waiting <laughs> to get a text off Jay <laughs> for when he needs me to pick him up from work. <laughs> I picked up this one Women's Health magazine yesterday, so I'm going to have a, a read of this. Um, but I just actually, I wanted to have a quick chat to you about why, just about, um, Oh, my low battery's flashing. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to just quickly tell you why I haven't done as many uh, weekly vlogs. <laughs> about a month ago, no, about six weeks ago, I actually got a job. And then a week after I got that job, I got offered another job. So <laughs> I ended up having two jobs that I was doing. They were both part-time. Um... But yeah, it just, I was pretty much working every day. So one day I'd, I was working at one place and then the next day I'd be like training at the other place, learning this system and things like that. Um, so it just didn't leave me much time <laughs> to vlog. And don't forget, like I hadn't, I haven't worked for a year and a half. So I was getting pretty tired to, to tell you the truth. Um, so yeah, I just, I couldn't do the weekly vlogs as regular as I, as I was doing. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago I just decided that I couldn't... The second job that I was doing was good but it was just... I just don't think it was really for me. So I ended up resigning. I don't even know if technically I resigned like I because I was still on probation but I just... yeah, I just kind of told 
the lady that owned it that I, you know, the job wasn't really for me, like it wasn't suited for me. So now I still have the one job, but it just means I have a bit more time now <laughs> to to do uh, weekly vlogs. So yeah, I, I usually work about three days a week, three or four days, um, and they're usually just half days. So yeah, if the vlogs, like this week, Monday I didn't work I don't think but then Tuesday and Wednesday I worked so the vlogs would have been I think the vlogs were actually kind of short no Tuesday I actually didn't even vlog at all Wednesday yesterday's vlog was really short um, but today I had the day off so yeah today's vlogs a little bit longer um, and then I'm working again tomorrow so I might have to start vlogging on Saturday or Sunday as well but yeah, that's the reason why my weekly vlogs have kind of been non-existent for the last two or three weeks. It's just I haven't been in a routine, like I've been trying to fit in working and then doing YouTube videos and week, I, yeah, I had to drop something so weekly vlogs kind of suffered a little bit. But hopefully I can get back into a routine again of weekly vlogging. If some days on the vlog aren't as long, um, yeah, that's the reason why. Just probably because I've been at work all, what, half the day and um, yeah so I just thought I would share that with you guys so yeah you're not left in the lurch <laughs> that sugar free chocolate's left a really like weird aftertaste in my mouth I don't think I like it I don't think I'm going to buy it again especially for 10 points I mean, I think a Cadbury's, like, Cadbury chocolate bar is less than 10 points for 45 grams. Oh, I feel so annoyed at myself. <laughs> On another note, um, I went out with my family the other night, um, and I had a bottle of cider. I think it was about 345 mils. Halfway through drinking the bottle of cider, I checked the points. I thought it would be about three points, three or four points, like similar to a wine. No, it was nine points, or was it ten? I think it was nine points. But nine points for a bottle of cider. <sighs> I really need to get back on track. Like, I'm doing okay with Weight Watchers, but I'm just... I feel like I'm not as focused as when I first started, so I need to get back into, like, being super focused. Like, when I first started, I would never have let myself eat a full bar of chocolate thinking it was only three points when really it was ten points. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like I'm letting myself slip a little bit. Um, but, yeah, I would do a weight loss update, which is very much overdue. Uh, this, well, I'll record it... I'll probably record it tomorrow and then I'll have it uploaded next week, so. Oh, my foot is starting to hurt. So the my podiatrist, <laughs> don't mind my slippers, she, um, if I can get my slipper off. <laughs> so underneath she's put, um, oh, I think she called it salicid acid. So she's like covered this whole part with salicid I can't say it. <laughs> she covered this whole part with acid and then put like this really thick padding on. So that's all got acid on and then my little toes got acid on. Um, but it's just it's starting to burn a little bit now. But she wants me to keep it on <laughs> till at least Monday. So all of Thursday, all of Friday, all of Saturday, all of Sunday. And then, um, yeah, Monday take it off. Usually I only leave it on for two days because you can't get it wet um but she's like try and leave it on for four or five days so but yeah it's already starting to hurt so i don't know how long i can keep it on for We've just had like horrible gloomy rainy weather, like 
week so you know when it's like finally nice weather and you just want to get outside for a little bit <laughs> that's how i'm feeling at the moment even though the sun's out it's still really cold <laughs> i think i might walk over there's like a few cafes over there so i might go get a nice hot drink and just sit and look at the ocean for a little bit <laughs> and then i've got to go to work later this afternoon so yeah but i'd make the most of the morning my um, back is feeling a lot better <laughs> It's still quite red, but like the redness around the little bite has gone down a lot, so well, around the two bites. <laughs> so that's a good thing. <laughs> when Jay and I build a house again, I want to get one of these massive palm trees in our back garden. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> the cutest little dog walk by um, it was like a, I think it was a Pomeranian but it was like a little puppy and it was like a little fluff ball <laughs> junk mail time <laughs> look how cute he looks I wonder what he's dreaming about. So cute. I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> Last night I remembered to take um, some salmon out of the freezer. Usually I forget. <laughs> so yeah, tonight we're going to have some yummy salmon for dinner. I might even make some um, sweet potato fries in my air fryer. I think that'll be like a nice, a nice healthy dinner. I'm just munching on a mandarin and um, yeah then I am going to go visit my mum for an hour and have a cup of tea with her and then I've got to go off to work. <sighs> I've been thinking about getting a personal trainer. I found this girl actually she she lost I think she lost 80 kilos which is like it's I think it's that's over 200 pounds no i think it's maybe like a hundred and at least over 150 pounds that um, she lost and she's a personal trainer um but i just thought it would be good to have like a trainer that's you know lost a lot of weight so they can kind of relate to you a little bit so i <laughs> i sent her a message on instagram and she got back to me and we've been having like a little chat back and forth so yeah i think i might set up like a little meeting with her and you know have like you know i don't know what you do when you have a personal trainer I, th I think you do like goals and um like what you want to get out of training and stuff so yeah i think i'm going to organize that but i think it'll be good for me just to get back into well not really get back into <laughs> just to start doing a bit of um exercise and yeah it might it might boost boost the weight loss you never know but yeah just the fact that she's lost 80 kilos you know that's incredible and it's very motivating to me so I think she would be like the perfect trainer for me <laughs> okay I am going to go finish off my mandarin and then go visit my mum but I hope you've all enjoyed the weekly vlog for this week if you did don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and I will see you guys all again uh, next week. It's a special week next week. It's my birthday week. <laughs> um, I'm excited, but I don't want to be getting any older. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go. Otherwise, I'll just keep rambling. But have a great weekend, and I will see you all again very soon. <laughs> Bye.